Immortals are a team that showed that Brazil has more than just SK Gaming because we already knew the team that now makes up SK Gaming was very good and that they could already compete, make it to majors. But people wondered, are those just the best players in the Brazil? Is there anyone else that's good there? And the rise of the Immortals team showed us that you could have a second team from Brazil that plays an entirely different brand of Counter-Strike, a much more up-tempo, explosive, unpredictable style of play than SK Gaming's more structured style but can find success in its own right and has had some top placings at tournaments, finished top four in some huge tournaments and been able to score some key victories over some of the best teams in the world. So the fact that Immortals has done it their entirely own way, they haven't just followed the SK way, they're not just a copycat team of SK, is to me kind of the biggest kind of uh, compliment you can give them as a team that they're a team in their own right who's good internationally and it just so happens they come from the same country as SK Gaming does. Now, as a team, the star player traditionally in Immortals has been Henny, who's a very, very explosive AWPer. He's known to have some of the fastest firing speed in the entire game. In fact, one of the ways he really broke onto the scene was when he was playing at IEM Katowice two years ago, he was going head to head with Guardian, who's famous for being one of the fastest AWPers we've ever had. And he was consistently out peaking him, hitting the shot before Guardian could. And that really kind of announced Henny as this player that perhaps he's gonna be someone with star potential who can go up with some of the best players from Europe. Then you've got to look at Bolts, and this is a player who actually is one of the rare links to the SK Gaming lineup because he played with them when they were Luminosity, when they were making it to majors, they were making top eight at majors, but he's a very different player to the player who was in that team at the time. Like when he was in SK Gaming, he seemed like someone where, yeah, he, he didn't do as well under pressure. He seemed like someone where when it was the big match and the big moment, he, his level kind of floundered, but you put him over onto the team that's now Immortals, and he's really come forwards as kind of the crims of their team. A guy who's a very solid player, the guy who's got very consistent style of aiming, style of playing. Put You put him in, in reasonably difficult situations because you know actually he'll handle it under pressure. It's pretty decent in the clutch. And so I feel like actually Immortals, instead of being kind of the end of Boltz's career where he couldn't make it in the top team in Brazil, has allowed him to completely reinvent himself and really impress a lot of people with the level and the consistency he's been able to bring in what in theory is a lesser team, but playing at the same level. So the newest player of Immortals is KNG, and he had huge shoes to fill because the players he's replacing in Immortals is, two players ago it was Phelps, who's known to be one of the best Brazilian players of the last couple of years, and then directly he replaced FNX, who is a legendary player from the Brazilian scene and won multiple majors. So coming in, people looked at KNG and they wondered what could he really do? I mean, he was playing for lesser teams in Brazil. He hadn't necessarily popped off on land before. He hadn't really shown that he was top quality material. But in his brief time in Immortals, we've already seen games from him where he perfectly fits the style of Immortals because he is this fast shooting style of player. He's aggressive in how he plays. He's got an explosive game style. It's not going to be consistent game to game, but when he has those games where it's going very well, and primarily he's an opera as well, something else Brazil's been famous for producing, it means that with all the rest of the, the players within Immortals, it really fits their core ethos and they're able to peak at the same time. And that's when they're the really exciting team who can run off so many rounds in a row and give a lot of teams trouble in upset games.